I think we can all agree building a site map for SEO purposes sucks. It's XML, it's nasty, it's dirty, it feels like you're building something from the 80s. It's just not fun. Not no part of it's fun. Like it, it just it's terrible. So I got an email today saying that the new Laravel news website with our rebuild did not have a site map. I totally forgot that when I was redoing the website. So my first thought was yuck, I don't want to do this. And then my second thought was maybe something already exists. And luckily enough, I found Spotty's Laravel sitemap and it generates a sitemap for you automatically. It's super simple and it's easy to use. So today, why don't we go through how, to, how I set it up for Laravel News and how you can use it on your own projects. To jump in, let's first talk about the package and the way you can add your pages for it to start uh, generating your sitemap. The first way is you can actually pass a URL to the sitemap generator create method and then write it to a file. And the way this works is in the background, it starts crawling all of your um, pages and every link it finds on your site and then generates the sitemap that way. This is going to be great if you have maybe 50 to 100 pages, but when you start getting into the thousands, you probably don't want your site being crawled all the time like that. So Spotty has another feature and you can implement this directly into your model class. So as you can see here, we have a class post extends model and it implements the site mappable. And then you just throw a method called to site map and you can re either return a route like a URL. In this case, this is a, a named route called blog post dot show. You're passing in this, which is the model record. Or you can get fancy and do use this spotty sitemap tags URL. And with that, you can create, um, basically you create the same name route, passing it the URL. You're setting a last modification date based off of the updated at. You can set the change frequency. These can be either daily, yearly, monthly, weekly. Um, really, it's up to you and your choice. And then you can also set the priority. And you just basically need to read the sitemap documentation to figure out what priority you want. I don't even know if they actually use this, but it's nice to have it there. From there, when you're building your sitemap, all you have to do is call sitemap create, and you can either add a single record, or you can just pull in a whole collection of records. So that way you can do it super fast. They don't have to crawl anything, and it just generates the sitemap, generates the XML based on everything you've put into this file here. So with that, let's jump in and look at the code that I created. I've got my project open here of the Laravel News website. And first of all, I'm going to open up one of the, uh, what I built here, which is called Build Sitemap. Basically, I, in the sidebar over here, I created app actions and then build sitemap. And I figured in here, I would just take care of all the code to actually build out the sitemap. So the first thing was I needed or I didn't need to. I wanted to break out different sections into different sitemap indexes. For instance, articles, partners, categories, packages, etc. Those can generate, I think articles were up to 3,000. Partners is not that big. Categories is not that huge, but packages is another um, maybe 1,000. So those are a lot of pages just to throw in a single sitemap. And what I did was just build a simple method down here to pass in the model and the path, and then it would just export, or it adds it, it writes the file, and then returns back up the path. So that way I'm building the index for the sitemap articles, partners, and on and on. And then down here we create the single pages that I needed to include into the main sitemap file. And if we open up, let's take a article for example. If we open the article file, we've implemented the site mappable. And down at the very bottom down here, we added the to site map tag. And here I'm just generating a named route to the article details page. Basically, just like the documentation says, adding the last modification time to this updated at and the change frequency I set to yearly. Articles 
for us typically don't change that much. Um, they do change occasionally, um, but usually, you know, I don't, I don't think it's, I think yearly should be fine for what we're doing. So that should give you an example of how we're implementing this. And then the other thing we're doing is adding a command, a console command, to generate the sitemap. And with this, that just calls the build sitemap build. We're generating it through this command, so we can let me clear that and PHP artisan generate sitemap. And then if we open sitemap.xml, you can see these are our indexes, and each one of these will contain all the all of the articles. You can see here's every single article we've ever published, and this file is pretty large. How many lines is this? 19,701 lines. So that's why I decided to break out these different ones into their own unique sitemaps and then map them back to this primary sitemap. Um, so that's it, and that's basically how you can use this sitemap the spotty sitemap generator to make your own sitemaps and not have to fight with any XML. And it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward. So give it a try if you need a sitemap on your website or on your next project. Thanks for watching.